Hello everyone, this is Aditya Chauhan, BSAI first year student at IIT Roorkee. In this video, I am going to discuss about printing the terms of Fibonacci sequence using C++. So let's discuss about Fibonacci sequence first. So Fibonacci sequence goes as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5 and so on. So basically the first two terms are predefined 0 and 1 and the subsequent terms are the sum of the last two terms. So basically 1 is 0 plus 1, 2 is the sum of last two terms 1 and 1, 3 comes by adding 1 and 2 and so on. So mathematically, this can be written into a piecewise function. f of r is 0 for r equal to 0, 1 for r equal to 1, and f of r minus 1 plus f of r minus 2, which is basically sum of the last two terms if r is greater than 1. Now for coding this into C++, we must store each f of r for all r's from 0 till n minus 1 because we need all the previous terms for calculating the later terms right for example for calculating the sixth term I need the fourth and the fifth term right so I must store the fourth term somewhere so for this purpose I'm going to use vector here because I also do not know the n which is the number of terms beforehand right otherwise I may have used arrays in that case so here, let's start writing our code on paper first. So we'll define the vector, right, named sequence, SEQ for short, which stores the data type long long. So I've used long long here so that I can reduce the risk of overflow, right? Because the Fibonacci sequence goes big very fast. and. I've taken this for n terms, right? I have to store n terms in this vector. And I'll take that input n from the user. Then I've defined the predefined terms here. Next, I must do this sequence, right? I must apply this formula f of r equal to f of r minus 1 plus f of r minus 2 for all r's from 2 to n minus 1. For that, I must use a for loop, right? So I've created a for loop here, initializing with integer r equal to 0, condition r less than n, and incrementing by 1 over each loop. Now you may ask why I have used integer r equal to 0 here, right? That is because I have to output all the terms, right? I have to output all the n terms. So I've output sequence of R for all R's from 0 till n minus 1, right? But this formula is not applicable for R equal to 0 and R equal to 1. Therefore, I've created an additional if condition here. So I've done if R is greater than or equal to 2 for which the formula is true. Sequence of R is sequence of R minus 1 plus sequence of R minus 2, right? So now let's run this code for n equal to 4 on paper. So first sequence of 0 equal to 0 and sequence of 1 equal to 1 will be defined. Then it will go to the for loop, right? It will go to this for loop, initialize with the integer r equal to 0 and will see out 0, right? Then it will output 1 for r equal to 1. Then for r equal to 2, it will create the new term sequence of 2 equal to sequence of 1 plus sequence of 0, which is 0 plus 1, which is 1. And it will output that, right? And also sequence of 2 is stored now, so I can use that later. And then it will run for r equal to 3. Sequence of 3 is sequence of 2 plus sequence of 1, which is 1 plus 1, and it will output 2, right? Now let's put this into our IDE. Hash include IO stream, hash include vector, since we are using vectors here using namespace standard so that I don't have to use std again and again. Then I have used the function void main, right? Because this is simply a program for displaying the terms of Fibonacci sequence. I don't have to return anything here, 
right then i've defined the integer n then taken the input from the user then i've defined the vector the predefined terms have been defined here then i've created the for loop the if statement as i explained right now this code i've written isn't completely perfect right i need to put some output messages and also this is a special case for n equal to 1 right for that i have to use different grammar basically right so i've made this display message fibonacci series telling the user to input the number of terms then i've created a special case if n equal to 1 right i have to use i have just simply displayed c out the first term of fibonacci series is 1 else in the else statement i have just put the old code right now in this part i have made a few changes also i have given a simple output message first n terms of the fibonacci series are also i have made this small change right i have created this if statement here that is basically because if i don't use this if statement i'll end with this comma which is not necessary right we don't need a comma at the end we need to end with a number so for that i've created an additional if statement here what this if statement does is it does not run for r equal to n minus 1 so basically i do not get that extra comma in the end right so that is it for the code now let's try and run it say for n equal to 10 i get the output 0 1 1 2 3 5 8 13 21 which is 13 plus 8 34 which is 21 plus 13 55 which is 34 plus 21 89 which is 55 plus 34 right so this code is good and running also let's try for the special case right we also have a special case of n equal to 1 let's try for that also yes i get the output the first term of the fibonacci series is 1 right so a code is perfect and running thank you for watching i hope you understood everything that i explained in this video